this change, you're no longer going to be able to keep your CPF SA excess monies at a 4% rate of return. Welcome once again to another episode of Wealthy Minds, the place where we seek to help you make smart financial decisions with PPIG for FREE. And if you do not know what this means, then check out our earlier video where Imin has made an elaboration of what we stand for in helping people make smart financial decisions. And without further ado, I'm going to jump into the latest buzz of uh, February, this festive February. So once again, 恭喜发财,万事如意,心想事成,步步高升, and you know, everyone's wants, 遍地黄金. So this video is for you if you're nearing 55 or you have excess monies in your CPF uh, SA account and you're past 55. No! So what now that SA is going to be taken away? People who keep money in their CPF SA or try very hard to shield their CPF SA, it's really for one reason, that they're risk averse and therefore wish to have a place where they could park money securely and have liquidity and at the same time can help them hedge against inflation which is what a 4% rate of return can do for you. The long-term rate of return in Singapore is still averaging about 3%, although we must say that since uh, 2020 and coming out of the COVID season, we have been seeing a higher rate of return. With this change, you're no longer going to be able to keep your CPF SA excess monies earning at a 4% rate of return. The good news is 4% rate of return is still available to you. However, it will mean pushing your SA monies into the RA account. So once the money is moved over to the RA account, it remains there and there is no liquidity. So in order to enjoy the 4% rate of return and continue doing so, you would have to make a decision to let the amount be locked up and create a higher rate of return in your CPF life from age 65 for as long as you live. But for those of us who want liquidity and you're not too excited about having to have your monies in OA earning at 2.5% per annum, unable to hatch the long-term inflation rate of at least 3%. Is there a sweet spot in between where you could have somewhere between 25 and 4% and some level of liquidity? The good news for you is this, there is. You are not without options. Yes, you have a choice, except that now you have to take a more active stance in making smart financial decisions. And that's why we are here to help you. Number one, be invested in the open market. Uh, that will depend on your risk appetite. There are different options uh, to meet different risk profile. However, with that, you need to have uh, the ability to stomach some market volatility because safer instruments can also suffer some level of volatility. But if you do not wish to subject your money to any volatility, then there are private annuities in the market today, even today, uh, that are able to meet that sweet spot somewhere in between the 2.5 and 4% uh, and offer you some flexibility along the way. You could leave the monies accumulated until an age that you wish to have the withdrawal, which really is uh, what CPF SA does, that you want to keep the money there, earning at a certain yield, only to activate it, you know, whether in lump sum withdrawals or through uh, turning it into a monthly kind of cash flow where you do monthly withdrawals when you need to. So if you have a trusted advisor that you can speak to, I want to encourage you, do that and do that soon. While we have the next 10 months to make a decision, the fact is you want to make decisions ahead of time and not be rushed into something towards the end of the year. Articulate what it is that you want to achieve with this excess amount and allow him or her to come back to you with options that you can consider. And if you do not have anyone trusted that you can talk to, just uh, reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you here at Wealthy Minds because that's why we exist. Uh, to help individuals make smart financial decisions. So that's all there is from me today and I hope to see you at our upcoming on-site meeting.